Hey guys, welcome back. I'll show you how you can make this amazing bread at home. Now I tried different recipes, but they all include almond flour, and I'm not too fond of the sweet taste it provides, especially in the bread. The only surprise is that this bread turns green after a few hours thanks to the sunflower flour, baking soda and chia seeds. It's not a mold, just change pH levels. You will need defatted golden linseed flour and sunflower flour, chia seeds, butter, psyllium husk, salt, baking soda, baking powder and 6 eggs. All of the nutritional values and ingredients are listed down below. If you can't have eggs, you can substitute them for more chia seeds. One egg equals to one tablespoon of seeds. For starters, add some water to chia seeds and mix well, so they are all properly soaking. For the next step, combine golden linseed flour and sunflower flour, husk, salt, baking powder and baking soda. Now melt the butter and set it aside to cool it down. Mix the eggs and soaked chia seeds in a stand mixer with a wire whip. Seeds must be thick and if you are using only chia seeds without the eggs, add them all in here and mix for about a minute. You can also mix a bit of flax seeds in there, just make sure to soak them in water. Add the melted butter and mix until it's frothy. Change the wire whip to dough hook and then add the dry mix spoon by spoon. Make sure to stop once or twice to scrape the sticked dough off the bowl so it mixes properly. I like to finish the dough by hand so I can manually add more flour if it's a bit sticky. If you do need to add more, add golden linseed flour because it has more neutral flavor. But if your dough is sticky a tiny bit, just keep mixing the dough by hand, you don't need to add more flour. Now if you'd like buns, you can divide this into 6 portions and shape the buns. If you want a loaf, just shape it and add it in the loaf pan. Make sure you have parchment paper inside. I added butter to the pan so the paper sticks better. You can also just put it on the pan as it is, but this way it raises better. Otherwise it becomes pretty round and thin. At the top you can add a bit of water and some mixed seeds. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes. Take it out and enjoy!